our part three of compost management system. Our part two, we created our database and created three tables and insert data into our database table. So in this part three, we will take our data from the database to our table and edit our data as well. So let's get started. So we need one, one table here. So we will get the table inside the admin uh, admin LTE uh, folder. Like this, we need this table, this full feature table. So how to get this thing? We need to go inside the folder, inside the folder, and inside the page, right? Inside the page, you will see that a table here. And inside the table, you, you will see this first file. Just open this file with uh, Notepad plus plus or any any editor you want to have it. <coughs> so when we open, so when the file is open right now, let's try to search full feature like this. We try to file. Full features, and here, here we are. So now we need to copy this. Okay, we need this thing. Okay, so I will copy this from here to here, like this. Body. Okay, we need this, and copy this. Let's open our code. Let's go down. Let's get down here after the model. After the model, uh, up, no, before the model, let's go. Let's paste this thing before the model here. Yeah? Let's paste this thing before the model. Let's paste it here. Let's paste this thing here. Okay, we need to paste this thing here. Let's paste it. And let's go back to the folder. Oh, uh, not one plus plus. So, what we need, we need, uh, we need this thing. Okay, let's close this now. Wait a minute. We need this footer from here. This footer, like this. We need this one. We need this. Okay. Let's take this and come down here. Insert here and here. We paste this thing here. So that's what we need here. And the body tag is at the body tag. We can have body tag here. We have a, let me create one body. So we have three, 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 right? Three, 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 three. So body, two body. Seven times, yeah. So we have seven records. So then here, let's change this thing. Okay. This thing will be the first one will be number hash. The second one will be first name. And the and this one will be last name. And 
this one you got uh, and this one will be let's check our our database what we have here okay that is gone let's open our database and check our table columns how many columns do we have inside our table so let's uh here and here we have the email So then we have the data part. Data part. And we need two more. Okay. The other one is the phone number and the address. Phone number. Phone number and the address. this so in here on top of this let's create one 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 php chart let's create one php chart php and let's do space let's place the php back here and we say Okay, let's okay, okay. let's take the data from the database. Okay, so we do like this. So let's all from admin underscore table like this, and we say okay, we go and press. Let's go to the body here, the body tag here. Let's let's open one here. One 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 If you give a request equal to you go equal to num underscore rows like this So we, we now need a while loop here. While the row equal to uh the row equal to request we are taking this request, okay? 
why the robot yeah, equals to this secret then you need to do this set assert set underscore assert option like this so you do like this and now what you need is just cut this from here and we come up to the body here we open one for one piece back again and paste this in here and close the piece back here like this so now we have in this one now and inside here let's move one piece back here here Close the PC back. So, what we need to do is we need to do like this. So, we need to do here. Go to I. That's what we need. That's what we need here. And the other one here we need the name, so we do the same thing. We do PC, and we put the PC back here, and we echo, echo like this, and then we need to bring the row, zero the row, row like this, and inside this row we need to pass our like this and let's copy this so that we will save our time paste it here paste it here paste it here paste it here and paste it here so now here we change the name the name and this one will be email and after email we have what okay Bit of bad. Do you have any bit of bad? Nope, you don't have bit of bad, so sorry. Need to put here thing. And this one needs to adjust. So let's remove this this bit of bad stuff. Remove that bit of bad. Here. We add one here to be action. Okay. That's our action. Here. So here we need to put action here. The button. Like this. Begin. Plus equal to. Begin. Begin. Yes. Like this. Here we will say edit. Okay. And inside the same button, we need another button again. Let's copy this button, click on this button. And here we need to make it. Okay. Like this, delete. And here we will be. We will be doing this. So then let's go to our project file. Let's try to here. Let's try to refresh it and see our table. Okay, you see we have our data inside our table here. Then we have our edit button and the delete button also in the action here. You see what we have inside here? We fetch our data to our table here now. Now, uh, let's make this this thing to be. Let's change these things, okay, in the footer. So I just go up here and copy this thing because I, I want this time. Copy them and I come here. I paste them here. That's what we need. Paste, paste, 
browser reload let's see to the output okay you see now we have an error here all is going fine and uh, we, we will stop our video here in the next video uh, i will work on the edit uh, edit function and delete function so stay tuned so if you have any query or any doubt about the code just please leave your comment in the comment section and i will get with you stay tuned thank you god with you bye